today I'm gonna show you a very simple way to sew your cloth diapers for pennies. This is really simple sewing skills. You don't have to spend a ton of money on pre-folds, hemp and bamboo and all that stuff. You can literally make your own cloth diapers and if you're like me, they just might end up to be your favorite cloth diapers. Hi. Uh. <laughs> Hello faithful few, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you how I make my favorite cloth diapers. Like I've bought hundreds and hundreds of cloth diapers and spent a ton of money. A ton, a ton, a ton of money. And then one day I sat down and sewed a cloth diaper from an old t-shirt and it turned out to be my very favorite. They stretch so you can wrap them around their little waist real tight and there's no extra give. Then you put it underneath a cloth diaper cover and it's cheap. You're not worried about it, you know, getting ruined or anything like that because if it does, it only costs you like five cents anyway, right? and it's easy, it's fast, it doesn't take you long to sew them. So let me give you the rundown. All right, so I have my old pink t-shirt. It got stained, I don't know if you can see the oil on it. And so, so I just threw this into my fabric scraps pile and I said, you know what, that's a perfect t-shirt to make a diaper from. So today I'm gonna show you how to make the t-shirt diaper. It takes like 10 minutes. I'll show you step by step with this t-shirt. All right, I've got my cutting mat out and a rotary blade, but you could use scissors and no cutting mat. So I'm just being a little extra today, if you know what I mean. Okay, I've laid my t-shirt out flat and all I'm gonna do is cut from armpit to armpit. So as you can see, we have a large rectangular shape now. And some people might wanna be super specific and make sure that it's the right length and height as their pre-folds that they like to use. But you know what, I don't even care. If there's ever any extra fabric, I just fold it down and it's even more absorption. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first things first is turn this inside out. At this point, now that the t-shirt is inside out, we are gonna sew absorption um, into the diaper. So we're gonna sew um, old towels. We can use the scraps from the rest of this t-shirt. Sometimes I'll use like the sleeves. And we are going to pin down um, just kind of a little, let's call it a little hot dog shape <laughs> of absorption into the center of what will be our pre-fold. As you can see here, I cut off the um, armband off the sleeve and cut the sleeve off the rest of the bodice. And I've placed it down here. I'll repeat that with the other sleeve and then kind of just pin them together, pin them into a little bit more of like an even little, what we're calling a hot dog shape. <laughs> An important thing to note here is you want to pin the sleeves together with one side of the t-shirt tube that we cut. You don't want to sew it, you don't want to pin the two sleeves or the absorption part in with the entire tube or you won't be able to turn it back right side out. Let me show you what I mean. So I have pinned my sleeves together but they are not pinned to this tube that we just cut out. And now I'm going to do that, but I'm gonna make sure that it's only pinned to this side of it and not that side. That way I can turn it back right side out and it won't be all connected and sewn together. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, we've got the absorption um, center part of the diaper pinned on to only one layer of the prefold. And now I'm going to sew down 
all of this. And I'm gonna kind of quilt it. So I'll sew here, I'll sew here, and then I'll do like one more here, maybe two more here, just straight lines. That's all you need to know how to do. And I like to start back stitch, which means go back a little bit. That way you know your stitches aren't gonna pull. And then go all the way down. And then I'll back stitch just a little bit more. That way I know my stitches are gonna stay and they're not gonna wash and wear out and fall out. I'm gonna use some green thread. That way you can see it on top of this pink t-shirt. As you can see, I'm kind of making it into a tube and only pulling the absorption part and sewing that into one side of the tube. The other side is kind of pulled out like this. Do you see the tube of the t-shirt that we cut? And I'm just gonna sew the absorption into one side of that tube. And again, the whole time while I'm sewing, I'm trying to make sure that this stays into a tube and that this fabric doesn't get pulled underneath the needle because then I'll have to rip some stitches and make sure they stay separate so that it's just like a pillow and I can turn it right side out again. And I think I'm about done here, so I'm just going to back stitch. Here's my back stitch button. Back stitch, four stitch. And I think we're good. I'll pull this off the machine and show you what I did. Here is what I have so far. As you can see, you can see like the little waves of where the it pulled the fabric. That's totally okay. Again, we're sewing this diaper. Our child is literally just gonna on it. And then we're gonna move on with our life, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be perfect. This is really simple sewing skills. You're sewing straight lines, basically a large rectangle, rectangular shape. So I sewed like this, then I went up, around, and I sewed down, and I sewed back up. And the reason why I don't just sew a big rectangle, the reason why I sew down and up again is because these, remember, th these are sleeves. And so if I just sew a big rectangle, the fabric in the middle, when it gets washed and agitated in the washer, it will move and bunch up, and then it will be really uncomfortable for your child to sit on, and it won't be as absorption, it won't be as even and so we kind of quilt it we sew um evenly spaced out stitches can you see that just to make sure that the fabric stays and as you can see i de i left raw edges this is going to be on the inside of the diaper so it's okay and also t-shirt fabric doesn't fray like other fabric so it's totally okay that this is a raw edge Nothing bad is gonna happen there. You don't even have to worry. You don't even have to stitch all the way across. As you can see, this is technically like a little packet. I can stick my finger down it. And that's totally okay. That's totally awesome. Save yourself the worry. Don't worry about turning down edges, unless it's a fabric that's gonna fray. Like maybe I'd turn down edges on like flannel material or like a thin cotton blend or something like that. But with microfiber, which I'll sew often into these diapers to make them extra absorptive, Absorbative, absorption, absorbative. Anyway, I'll sew like a microfiber um, panel in sometimes. I'll use flannel, all those kinds of, you know, old towels. When my kitchen towels get all bleached up or stained or whatever, I'll just throw them into my scrap fabric pile and eventually make a cloth diaper out of it. So again, this is super chill. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so we have the absorptive part sewn into our diaper and we're just going to sew up this side and sew up this side. At this point, you could pin all the way down and I am a little bit of an advanced sewer, so I'm not going to stop and pin, but you totally can because it is stretchy material. But again, because I'm worried about time, I wanna be quick and efficient with my time, I'm not gonna pin. And just a reminder, we're gonna leave a pocket, we're, which means we're not gonna completely close up this box. We're gonna leave a small pocket so that we can turn the diaper right side out again and all of this will be hidden. 
Um, I have learned to do to leave the pocket to not completely close off this side with this t-shirt hem on it because it's already hemmed. If I do it on this side, then you have to worry about um, the t-shirt edge. So I will sew literally here to there, just a straight line back stitching. And then also probably from like here to here, a straight line back stitching. And there'll be a little pocket for me to put my hand through over here and pull it all back right side out. All right, so I've sewn both the sides, and as you can see right here, my stitching stops, and I have a pocket here to turn it inside out. I'm gonna grab this corner right here and pull the t-shirt through. Make sure to point out each corner. And here is the final steps. We're so close to being done. As you can see, you've got the quilted absorption on this side, and when you flip it over, you've got nothing. So what we're gonna do is sew it just like a pre-fold. We're gonna sew two stitches down here, back stitch. Sometimes I'll go like this. Sew, and make sure that these corners are nice and stiff. Now sew. And all I'm gonna do with this pocket that I pulled it through is I'm literally just gonna do a straight stitch. I'm not gonna turn it in or worry about that because this is already hemmed. So I'm just gonna do a simple straight stitch here and I'll show you what the final product looks like. All right, so as you can see, I stitched wherever it is. Oh, I stitched the pocket closed and then I came up over here stitched up and I stitched all the way up here and I stitched all the way up here so that it is now just like a pre-fold that you would use underneath the cover. It's got the three sections and the center is more absorption. And then I will just fold it around my son just like I would a normal pre-fold. Pin it with some snappies and he is good to go. Thank you guys for joining me today to make a super cheap cloth diaper out of an old t-shirt. That's literally all I use. And again, like I said earlier, I can always include some micro fiber to make it a little bit more absorptive or I can, you know, spice it up and I could go so crazy with these things. So I encourage you guys, you don't have to spend a ton of money on pre-folds. You don't have to spend a ton of money on pre-folds. Hemp and bamboo and all that stuff. You can literally make your own cloth diapers. And if you're like me, they just might end up to be your favorite cloth diapers. I say that this cost me about five cents and all I had to do was use the thread. Maybe it was like five cents worth of thread, but that's all. And then I probably spent like 10, 20 minutes, but then again, I was filming this video, so it took me longer. Literally, it's so easy, so cheap. You'd be dumb not to try.